All right, next up for block three out of six. Fesh the Ferret, a fast and loud platformer where the faster you go, the better the music gets. Shout out to Raul and Chat, uh, who will be showcasing the game's audio design. And uh, bye bye, I'll see you later. Hi, I'm Raul. I'm the main developer and composer for Fesh the Ferret. It's a parkour game where the faster you go, the louder music gets. Today I'll first show a little bit of the game, I'll play for a few minutes, and then I'll actually show what's going on underneath, how the audio plays a key role in this project. And so, let's start playing. As in the premise, as I begin running, Now I'll enter a rhythmic zone. It works a bit differently. Like the last part, here music is not dynamic actually. And you'll see why. a rhythm game this part. It's just one of the... These sections are pretty frequent during the game and they mostly are present to break the, the routine, so to speak. This is just a tutorial, so it plays much more in a much more simple way. Introducing the concept, basically. The music playing here is actually one of those tracks I made for myself at some point, but I wasn't really sure on how to use them, so I ended up just repurposing them for the game. So I'm back to the forest and I can now continue playing. As you can hear, there's quite a few sound effects tied to interacting with the foliage of the game. I'll also show this in a, in a brief moment. Just want to get to the next week tomorrow, and I'll stop there. In the meantime, I'm trying to play the game as quickly as possible, which happens to be also one of the main aspects of the game, so I'm really just playing by the rules of the game. And I'm here, so now I can switch over to FMOD and show a little bit of what I've just done, like what is what I've just played so far. Okay, we're in FMOD now, and I'll show directly the first, the song of the first song. As you hear, there's 
as you see, there's just two tracks actually. The first one is the one that plays when you're going slowly, while the second one is the one that gets added and ultimately uh, replaces the bass one as you go faster. The approach is tremendously simple. As you see, it's just one single track exported uh, from the DAW, which makes it very, very easy for me to just compose directly the same track in two, diff two different ways. Maybe just disabling some instruments, like the uh, beat and the bass, or directly uh, composing some new parts that better fit the slower pace. A great example of doing different doing different tracks basically is in the second tutorial where I actually composed composed differently uh, for the beginning and some sections where there's a piano. So you can hear here that if I run the piano is completely cut off. And even later parts are completely different. Like they, they play in the same key, of course, and same chords, but the feel is drastically different. Like here, instead, it's effectively a drop when you're running. So in fact, here it, it wasn't possible to just remove. The part, the part of right before, it wasn't possible to just remove a few instruments. Um, and then there's the Ritomara song. In that case, there's actually nothing interactive at all. It's just one full track. The only parameter in FBOD is the ability to fail. Which is a very simple effect. The rest of the R instead has, like the entrance has another track, which is a very simple short track that gets looped. Nothing, nothing special really. Then, as anticipated before, uh, there's some work with SFX. For instance, when entering and exiting uh, trees here in the nature folder, uh, foliage enter. It's it's very simple actually. Uh, trees have colliders, triggers, uh, as they call the unity. Uh, so you, it gets detected when you enter or exit uh, three, and when you enter one of these four, uh, three actually, uh, three tracks gets played randomly, and when you exit, this one gets played. It's a very very simple uh, approach. The only difference, the only other thing is that the pitch randomly varies as as you can see here, which has the goal to randomize a little bit more and make it less uh, apparent that there's only one sound effect for exiting uh, foliage. But other than that, it's a very simple approach, just like with the dynamic, dynamic music for the zone. It's a very simple approach that works pretty well with selling the idea that you're, in this case, uh, getting inside and outside of a tree, despite its very uh, surreal look. And with this, we can go back to the game and show a little bit more of gameplay. Okay, now we are back to the game. Showing the rest of this demo, basically. Which, by the way, you can play directly on Steam right now. Okay, let's also skip this character. Unfortunately, she doesn't really relate to the audio. And let's get closer to the second zone. Here you can hear this noise as he climbs up walls. Actually, let me show this pretty quickly. The breakdown of how I made it is a little bizarre. I've actually played this noise with my mouth. It's really hard to imitate a, a ferret. <laughs> and now I'm to the end of the first zone. Before moving on, actually, I just want to show better 
how the grass effects works. And let me go to the options. Let me remove music. So it was actually it's pretty complex. Uh, I'll suggest in a second if mod. And I can walk. But if I start running, the sound gets more and more repeated. And then it gets equalized in such a way that it's no longer intrusive, so there's space for the loud music to play. But you can still hear it as the top end of the sound effect is still audible. In fact, if I play back the music again, maybe not a max volume. You'll be able to hear how the music gets a bit louder. And now you can still barely hear the uh, the grass. Well, at the same moment, hear the air sound effect that really gives the idea that you're running fast. Now, before closing, up, closing it off with the gameplay, let me at least get to the second zone. As you could hear the I'll show you in a second. Let me go underwater. Where of course the audio gets cut off. Um, as I've changed zone, you can hear that if I start rolling, there's kind of a sidechain effect that's tied to the BPM of the song. It gets more noticeable as the second start second section of this track plays. This is just the intro that plays only once, like the first time you enter the zone. So in a brief moment. Let me touch water again so I can show the rolling better. Yeah, you can you can hear that it's uh, directly tied to the music. And if I stop running, music gets calmer as you're no longer in a hurry. Of course, if I, if I go back to rolling, music gets back. And I'm almost done. Let me just get to a more Nice spot. Okay, let me, let's just stop here. And now we can go back to F mod for a second time. Okay, as promised, let's start with the grass. This is possibly the most advanced aspect in terms of audio in the entire game. Um, it's based on the fact that there's 16 uh, short tracks of grass rustle, which you can hear here. They are very simple. They are not even that particularly hi-fi uh, because they are just played at very low volume. But the idea is in that they get randomly played multiple times a second. Uh, it ranges from roughly 0 to 25 times, like 4 times a second, uh, to up to 10 times a second, depending on how fast Fetch goes. And if the player is going faster, the volume of these sound effects also increases. As you can hear like this. Uh, but if the speed is at the max, as I was showing by mistake uh, when I started, the audio is equalized in a completely different way. Um, this makes it possible to free up the audio space uh, for the music, for the music to play loudly, uh, while still leaving this rustle in the background in some way. So you hear, as you can 
clearly see down here, you hear the uh, top of the sound, the top end, uh, while the mid, uh, mid lows are completely cut off. So it's just the top end and the mid highs, it's part of the mid highs, the mid band basically. Which again makes it possible to have some presence to this sound, uh, but still not be intrusive to the song since the music is the main point of interest. Then uh, another thing I was uh, trying right before is how Fetch climbs up walls. It's the climbing. Uh, this is again pretty simple. It's a set of uh, variations on the same sound, some sound that pretty much imitates, uh, kind of imitates the sound of a ferret, uh, while, while it's also playing the... Oh, it's not. Can be there. Um, another sound that gives a little bit of urgency that tells the player that the, the character is getting tired. So there's some limit in how much you can uh, climb, and if you reach the limit, it starts falling down, pulling into a wall and slowly get going down. So that, that was, again, pretty basic approach just to sell the idea in an effective way. And lastly, what can I show? Oh yeah, the whoosh effect. So again, super basic. When you start running, there's actually a whoosh effect. And as you run, there's a subtle uh, air effect. It, it just, it's just playing the background, giving a better sense of speed to the player. And then there's this one that's really hard to uh, imitate in uh, FMOD. So this is just a um, pretty much white noise loop. And every time the bit of the song plays, which is tracked thanks to FMOD, in the, in, like every song in the game has its uh, BPM uh, registered. So every bit, the, I can know exactly that a bit is playing. So for instance, for this effect that plays when you're rolling, at every bit, it gets cut off like this. Again, this is a very, very, very faithful <laughs> representation. But basically, there's a sidechain effect, just as you'd expect in a in electronic music production. I'm hoping that somebody is into music and uh, knows what I mean. Uh, speaking of that, I might close this off by actually showing how one of the tracks looks like uh, as I work on it. And as I work on, I mean a track that's currently in the making. It's a new song for the game uh, that's supposed to be some sort, sort of like that one of before in the rhythmic level. So it's a pretty aggressive track uh, that's all structured around a simple, a single bass uh, with a pretty complex uh, melody. And just like that one, it's a, also a pretty short uh, song that gets more and more intense. I'll just play it and with that, uh, that will be all for today, for this video. So do check out the game if you like electronic music. Um, so play fetch.
See you next time. Bye.